Hey guys, it's Monday, March 14th. It's about 7 p.m. Eastern time zone <clears throat> where I am in the Asian session now. And uh, I put out my video over the weekend as I, I know some of you saw and appreciate it um, regarding the, the pair analysis across my platform. I wanted to talk briefly about a uh, possible uh, one or two alternate looks at the Euro pairs, especially Euro Aussie, Euro Kiwi, maybe Euro Dollar, Euro Canadian um, to a degree too. So I'm on the Euro Aussie here, and uh, this is the one hour time frame. <clears throat> and what I said over the weekend is that this was, uh, I thought, a potentially a, a new uptrend starting. So that this was a one, this was a two. And then we're going to go up for three, four, five, and then, you know, it'll be a start of a new uptrend. And my bias is still towards that just because of the impulsiveness of this move. And the fact that you can see normally the range of the candles on this pair are, are much smaller. And the fact that you get this huge push up um, leads me to believe that there's something going on here. Uh, and that we could be looking at, you know, possibly the end of a trend here on the longer time frame to, to go up. But, so again, my, my bias is still that this is one, two, and then three, four, five to go up for quite a while. However, um, there is, a, you know, another possibility um, that this is just simply a correction to a downtrend. And so that this is an A, this is a B, then we'll go up for C, and then we're going to drop off pretty rapidly. Uh, and that is another interpretation. Now... Um, if the B is in place, which is possible that the B wave may be completed, and that we're going to go up for C now. Of course, we got about a 620 pip wave A. So wave C tends towards equality. That's the mo most common is that it would be an equal move. It could also be a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. It could be a 0.618 or it could be a 1.618 to the notchy, but the most common is to equality. That's usually my initial target. And so 600 pips from here, 620 pips takes you up to about this level, 153.15, and then down. So I just want to make you aware that that could be a possibility. Now, either way, you're going to be looking at an uptrend uh, unfolding here. Um, um, and that that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so again, that would be the similar as the one... One, two, three, four, five on this larger picture. Now, one other one to look at is that this is actually a downtrend that's completed right here. Now we're going to be in a small correction, then we're going to drop off rapidly. So just bear with me on that. I'm going to just put my um, screen capture up here. And uh, let's change my, uh, change the pen color here. All right, should have done this ahead of time. Okay. All right, because this right here, to me, looks like a trend. Okay, it has the shape of a trend. And basically, a trend is, you know, that's basically the shape of a trend. And that's essentially what I see right here is a trend. And so if that's the case, then this is an A, B, C, A, B, A, B will go up a little ways for C. And then, okay, so get rid of that then you know this is an a b c to go up to here or so and then have a rapid drop off from here okay so <clears throat> just an alternate and i you know i don't i don't know i would just be cautious in here obviously the euro is a very weak pair uh, very weak currency. The Aussie is a little bit stronger right now. Uh, and so it, it's just a possibility that um, this whole thing here was just a corrective move, albeit a non-traditional one because of how fast it went up. And that you have a trend here, and then you have an ABC correction unfolding right here, and then we're going to have a rapid drop-off. So obviously there's two very different interpretations here because if this is an ABC or a one, two, three, we're going to be talking about a substantial move to the upside, hundreds of pips to the upside. On the other hand, if this is a trend, and then when this is an ABC, we're only going to have a very small move up here, and then we're going to have a very steep 
drop off from here. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. And, uh, you know, because I don't want anybody saying, you know, you said it was going to go up because, first of all, you shouldn't be taking trades off anything I say um, because uh, I could be wrong. But um, I thought about it today and there's that possibility exists. And the Euro Kiwi is pretty much the same picture, looks slightly different. But uh, this, this could prove to be the same thing that this is a trend. And now we're in ABC and we're going to drop off. Or again, same thing, this could be a one, two, three and moving up. Uh, or this could be an ABC uh, and then moving back down, but a more substantial move up first. Um, Euro Canadian looks pretty much the same way. Um, Euro dollar looks a little funny, but certainly this could, you know, could qualify too as a one, two, three, four, five. And this trend, it just looks like it's not quite as uh, mature as the yellow pairs. Um, Euro, Euro yen doesn't quite look the same. This is how I have Euro yen labeled one, two, three, four, five, and that we're already uh, underway in a corrective move here. So, um, so I'm going to put Euro yen aside and just look at these three. So again, um, just be cautious if you're going to trade this to the long side, um, that this could be an, uh, a pretty short uh, long and then be dropping off pretty fast. Uh, or this could be the beginning of a, of a larger uptrend up uh, uptrend to the upside, whether it's a C or a three. Um, but they're, they're quite different interpretations and uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Uh, and I was going to get ready and, you know, looking for any opportunity to get in long on the end of a correction. Now I'm going to be a little bit more cautious with it. I certainly don't want to miss a big move up, um, but I don't want to have a situation where it just goes up a little bit and then all of a sudden we have a huge sell-off. Um, and so let's really watch the news here and, uh, you know, see at 8.30, well, Easter, this is New York time. We have Aussie mo policy monetary minutes coming up. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but this is something potentially to watch on your Aussie pairs, including Euro Aussie. Uh, I have I, I have my doubts it's going to have a large impact because it's only going to affect the Aussie. It's not going to affect like Euro Kiwi. And I, I think these these pairs, Euro Aussie, Euro Kiwi, are all going to move the same way. So I have a feeling it'll be more Euro driven than Aussie driven. So we'll have to wait, uh, I, in my opinion, but we'll see. I am going to watch that news at 830 and see if it makes any difference because there, there is some potential movement on some of these other Aussie pairs here. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, I just wanted to point that out and um, be interested to see how it plays out. And, and I'll take it as a learning lesson for myself, regardless of how it plays out about, um, you know, making sure I'm open to uh, different interpretations and not just concentrating on one thing. Although again, this, this is very compelling right here, but you know, the, the longer term trend is down. And uh, you still have to respect that. And there is a shape of a trend building in here. So anyway, so that's it, guys. Have a good night. And uh, let me know if you have any.